Hello, beautiful people. Ten points if you can guess what the temperature is where I live right now. If you said literally freezing, then ding, 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 we have a winner. It is currently 32 degrees where I live and getting colder by the second, which is honestly depressing. So I guess you could say that this video is my effort to kind of push winter out and bring spring in a little faster, which if only it worked that way, right? So I decided to gather up all my winter favorites for you guys, show them off to you now in the hopes to kind of push winter aside and bring in all the new spring favorites. I kind of have a lot of things that I want to get to, so I'm just going to get right into it. As always, beauty is my first category, so I'm just going to go right into it. This is my absolute favorite new foundation and powder. Now you guys know me, I have kind of used a variety of different foundations. Um, I used the Maybelline Dream Mousse for a while and I really liked that, but they've kind of changed that a little bit, changed the colors and formulas and stuff like that. Um, I tried a Revlon Photo Ready one that I used in a video a little while back, but this is my absolute new favorite. I will, as long as they have this, I will be using it. I love it so much. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless line. Now, I'm probably going to do a review video on this just by themselves because this line is seriously that amazing, but it is the Fit Me, they have the color matching of the Fit Me foundation, so it's really nice to be able to find your shade. It's really easy. They have all these tools and a lot of different shades so you can find yours. But then on top of that, it is made for normal to oily skin and it has a matte finish. It kind of blurs your pores and makes you matte. And when they say that on the commercial, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, everyone says that they do that. But this is actually... Like, this actually does that. I'm so pleased with this product. I am in the shade 128 Warm Nude for the foundation, if any of you are interested. And then I have the powder as well. It's 120 Classic Ivory. I'm really white this winter. Holy cow. But anyway, just the combination of these together, I feel like it completely blurs any flaws or imperfections on my skin. I feel like it covers everything really well. Um, it is definitely like buildable coverage. I've had days where I wore it a little more sheer and days where I built it up more. Um, and this powder is just amazing. Like it blurs everything, makes everything so pretty. I cannot rave enough about these. I Like I said, I'll probably have their own video just because I could talk about these for the full time of this video. So these are my new favorites as far as foundation and powder. Next, I don't need to talk about this product for very long because I already told you guys about it in my Ipsy Glam Bag review for February, I believe it is. Yeah, I guess it must have been February. This is the Rob Sheppy for Teeny Beauty. Um, it's a little highlight in the shade Pearl Fizz. This is actually an eyeshadow, which I have worn it on my eyes before, but what I've liked doing with it recently is using it as my like cheekbone highlight. I don't know if you guys can see how that's working out for me, but I love it. I think it's so pretty. It gives you just a nice natural glow without being too sparkly. Um, so I definitely love this. I'm so glad I got it in my Ipsy bag and I might actually repurchase this one. Next in the beauty category is a bronzer. In the winter time, I like to be bronzed, whether it's like for holiday events and I want to look like super glam, or if I just feel like, you know, I'm getting really pale and it's cold out and I want to feel sunny. So I have been using this little sample size of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. This is the medium deep matte bronzer. I cannot rave about this one enough either. I mean, it just smells amazing, first of all. Like, they're, all of their chocolate products are, like, to die for. And then on top of that, this gives you such a beautiful color. This is a matte bronzer, which means it's perfect for contouring and getting into all those little places to make the shadows. You don't want something that's going to, like, shine because that's just going to bring attention to it and you're trying to kind of detract from that area of your face. But I just love this bronzer so much. It smells great. It's got beautiful finish, I think. I love how it looks on me when I use it to contour. On top of that, the pigmentation is fantastic. I don't feel like I'm losing product as I put it on my face. I feel like every little bit that I put on actually stays on my face and makes color. I just, I love that. So this is definitely my new favorite bronzer and I've been loving it this winter. The last thing in the beauty category is something that I also might have talked to you guys about already. So this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This is not the waterproof one, that's Lights Camera Splashes, I believe, but this is probably my new favorite like everyday mascara. This is a sample size one that I got in an Ipsy bag, but I'm going to purchase the full one um, very soon. I know that I talked to you guys about the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and I still love that, especially when I'm going for a really glam look. I feel like it gives me a lot of body, if that's a word that you use about lashes, it gives me a lot of volume in my lashes, but this is perfect for the everyday kind of lashes that I love. I don't like super chunky or fluffy, like I don't, I don't typically like the word fluffy to be used to describe my lashes. I just don't think it looks good on me to have like 
a giant wave of black, you know. I, I don't think that looks good on me personally. I like it better when I have very defined lashes. So it's obvious that they're there, but they're each individually dealt with. I don't, I don't know how to describe what I'm trying to say to you guys, but this mascara is the bomb. There is no clumping, no like fallout at the end of the day. Like it stays on all day. There's no little chunks of it flying off anywhere. I love this so much. It gives you a really nice defined but natural lash look, which is definitely what I love on myself. So I will be purchasing the big size of this, but this has definitely been a favorite for this winter. All right, moving on, we have the fashion category. Now the first thing, I guess I only have two things in the fashion category this time. The first thing is high-waisted jeans. This winter, I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, the link is down below, but if you do, you've seen that I have worn a ton of outfits that have like high-waisted jeans and something or other, you know, whatever I happen to be wearing with it. Um, because I do think that they are versatile and you can wear a lot of different things with it. So my favorite pair right now, these are from American Eagle. These are the Sky High Jeggings. I forget what color this is, but it's like the darkest wash that they have of them. There's no rips in them. I just love them. They hit me perfectly. Like where they hit me is just perfect on my body. Ooh, I forgot to zip up the zipper. I feel like they just hit me in a great spot. I love wearing high-waisted jeans because I feel like it elongates my legs, which I love because I have really short legs because all of me is short. So I love what this does for my body, honestly. I just like how I look in them, and I think they're great for a lot of crop top styles that are coming in that are still popular and stuff like that. So I love these jeans. I have another pair that I will try to link down below. Um, from PacSun and they're like an acid wash more of and I've been wearing those and these just a ton this winter. The other fashion item that has just completely like changed my life this winter like not even joking. It's these little high heel booties. Sorry that this one's kind of scuffed up. It's had like a rough couple weeks here so I have to find something to fix that but these are my absolute new favorite shoes. I have them in this color which is like a um, a tan suede with a brown heel and then I also have like a black faux leather with the brown heel as well and I have just I have pretty much just worn these shoes all winter like unless it's a specific occasion where I can't wear heels that high I have worn these because these are my absolute new favorite shoes they are from Charlotte Russe they are the brand Speed Limit 98 I believe yeah I will have them linked below for you guys I'm just in love with them so much. I got them on a like buy one get one half off sale at Charlotte Russe online and I have been wearing them like ever since. I actually was going to talk about these in my fall favorites video but I ran out of time and so I cut the clip. But I just, I felt like I had to talk to you guys about these because they are amazing. They are my absolute favorite shoes. I've been wearing them straight time all winter. <laughs> That's it for the fashion category. Now we're going to move on to like my little miscellaneous things. The first one of course is my iPhone 6 Plus. I told you guys about this in my last video. Um, I only touched on it briefly. But this is my new phone. It's the iPhone 6 Plus. It's the space gray one but you can't really tell because I have a Mophie case on it right now which again another lifesaver. I can talk more about that. I'm thinking about doing a separate iPhone video, like what's on my iPhone, stuff like that, so I can show you guys all my apps. Again, like I said in my last video, if you would like to see that, be sure and leave me a comment down below so I know if you guys are actually interested in seeing that because I love watching those videos from other people, but I want to know what you guys are looking for from me. The other like miscellaneous category thing that I have just been completely obsessed with this winter has been The Bachelor. Now for those of you who have been living under a rock for the last like however many years they've been doing The Bachelor, The Bachelor is a show where a man goes on and there are 25 women usually that he dates and he's looking for, you know, the love of his life, whatever. This time there were 30 women actually. It is Farmer Chris who will be pictured right here. I have just been like completely obsessed with this season. It is the only show that I watch like live, like real time when it's actually showing on the television. Like, everything else, I DVR or I Netflix or whatever, but this I actually watch when it's on TV, which is like saying something for me, apparently. My whole family sits down in the living room and we watch this show, and I am obsessed with it. This season has to be one of my favorites because I do love Chris as a bachelor. Um, he's probably second only to Sean, who is still like my bachelor bae. He's, ugh. Farmer Chris is an awesome guy and I just loved watching his season. Of course there's the drama with all the ladies in the house, but I know who I'm rooting for personally. It's down to Whitney and Becca right now and I am rooting for Whitney. I'm hoping that it's her. I've heard rumors, but you know, you can never trust a tabloid, right? So, also, I am so, so, so team Caitlyn. 
for being the new Bachelorette. Hashtag Caitlyn for Bachelorette. Oh my god, that was a super nerdy thing to do. But anyway, I've been loving this season. If you guys have been watching, be sure and leave me a comment down below and we can talk and gossip about all the drama that's been going on this season because who doesn't love that? Alright guys, so we've actually reached the end of my video. It's the very last category, which is always, 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 you guys know this, it's always candles. So this winter there are two candles that I've been loving and apparently I really like alcohol scented candles because they are both that kind of candle. The first one that I've been loving is the Cranberry Pear Bellini scented candle and this is one of the ones like for the winter time because I already had my Christmas favorites so I didn't want to repeat those but these are kind of like New Year's-y themed I don't know if there was a whole like alcoholic drink line I don't even know but this is one of them and I love it so much it's fruity and fresh it smells like a lot of I mean you guys know the scents that I like and I always like the similar kinds of fruity happy fun scents and this is another one of those it's got the hint of cranberry in it which makes it a little you know sweeter but also an element of tartness to it I don't even know what I'm talking about I sound like I'm critiquing a pie or something but I absolutely love this candle so 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 much the other one from that same line actually that I've been loving is champagne toast it smells I mean I've never had champagne obviously but it smells how like you imagine a scenario where you would drink champagne to be like like that's what this smells like so I'm just gonna leave you with that and let you interpret it how you will so guys that is it for my winter favorites video trust me there were so many more products that I've been loving this season that I wanted to share with you guys in this video but I'm trying to incorporate them into other things so I don't have to have like a 35 minute favorites video here so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you want to see more from me be sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm posting new videos every Saturday if you've been loving these products too or if you have any other winter favorites you'd like to share with me be sure to leave me a comment down below because I always like to hear from you guys thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye